the two-week stay-at-home order by the Delta State Government to curtail the spread of COVID-19 began today, Wednesday, 1st of April, 2020. The area view of Highway of Bini Asaba Expressway from Agbo B by Oza House were in total lockdown at the time of our coverage. Some travelers were seen stranded along the highway at Uromi Junction. The hitchhiker who spoke off camera said he got informed of the stay-at-home directive when he was already in Delta State, lamenting that he wouldn't have left home in the first place. The Nigerian police force and other law enforcement agencies were on ground to ensure compliance to the state government's directive. In regards to the exemption of essential workers, some staff of Benin Electricity Distribution Company, BEDC, were seen working between Uriami Junction and College Junction. Speaking with our PMTV correspondent, the Operation and Maintenance Superintendent, Chuku Obiora, explained what the challenge is, assuring it will be fixed immediately for power to be restored. Last night, after the rainstorm, we experienced some blackouts. So we had to come out to know what is actually the problem. So that's the reason why you saw us walking out here. We're trying to amend a fort. The wire pulled from the cross arm and rested on the lower tension line. It's a problem that will bring total blackout. So we're trying to amend it to see how possible and how fast we can restore supply back to the public. This line we're working on now is affecting Abavo, Affecting Ali Ahmed that covers the whole of Abu and its environs. It's also affecting town. Hopefully, once we're done with this, we'll restore because our main feeder is on. Just these are our, our baby feeders that are out. But as soon as we're done with this, we'll restore back supply to them. Some residents within Agua Metropolis, who were seen on the deserted old Lagos Asaba Road by Oweke Junction, shared their experiences on the stay-at-home directive and precautionary measures being taken by them to curb the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. I am happy with the level of compliance of the order by both the state and uh, federal government and local government. It's like our people are beginning to be law-abiding. If you know the why, they say two weeks. And the nature of the sickness is not even enough. Government will make sure the spread of this coronavirus does not go further than it is right now. So two weeks uh, is a period that they will use to make sure all the people isolate themselves, people that have been quarantined, they, will, they recover. So that more people cannot get infected with the virus. I'm telling them, my good brothers, sisters, and friends of Eka, because of the nature of the sickness, they should try and bear with uh, the directive of the government to make sure this disease does not spread more than this. Because of the directive of the governor concerning this coronavirus, that's all of us to start to. Seeing you outside night means you, you are not complying. So why are you outside? No, we are complying. We are inside, inside since. Okay. So we just said I would just come out to just look around. What are your words of advice to Nigerians? Washing your hand, keep yourself clean and avoid stay with people, more than 20 persons. Like I just said earlier that um, we have been placed on house arrest. Nobody is out. We obey the government, but if I might say, you will discover that a lot of persons have begun to complain. We are still believing and depending on the government, just as they have said, that they are going to uh, send little stipends into our account to see that we could be able to cope. If we are unable to do it, my brother, I'm promising you that in a very short time, 
people who come out to scan for what they are going to use for a survivor. Now they are on a lockdown. If you watch it now, some who have a cup of gari in their house now might get it exhausted between now and three days. Expecting them to remain indoor without provision is zero. COVID-19. What do you do now so that it not go reach your body? How do they take care of yourself? Um, I they take care of myself. I, I keep the distance. The little way I can. So when you they try to pursue person out of that is one day far from the person, it will be like you they ignore them. But you to say you understand the way you understand, you know, it will be like that. Watching the van is okay, but that's the same tap. When I go there, another person have used that tap. The person touched the tap. When I still come there, I'll still touch the same tap. So I see that that thing is not hygiene because the person that is infected can still touch that tap and it will. Con that person will now contaminate that and another person will come again and touch it. From there, another person can contact the virus. The only thing is that there will, something like nylon, there will be a particular person that will be owning and offing the tap. When the person is true, they will off it. This, another person will be the one to be putting the, pressing the uh, sanitizer to that person's hand. If you are not financially embryant, at least if you don't have money to stock something in the house, how can you cope? Well, it's not a bad idea because of how serious the, the virus is. So to me, I think it's a, a good thing. So they say prevention is better than cure. So I will tell you that this one day is even uh, inflicting pains on us due to the effect of hunger. Unprepared uh, holiday. We are ready to comply with the instruction or cell isolation in the sense that it is also for our own benefit to avoid the spread of the virus. But this we can only do effectively without any hinge. If there is a measure of a, you know, provision to a large extent, if the government and the well-meaning Nigerians can help out to provide some items, mostly food items, which we now, you know, cushion the effect of the uh, self-isolation. I believe we, the car people, we are law-abiding citizens. We are ready to comply with the government and with the instructions so far. The Oweke market was in total close down like every others. In this regard, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokowa, considered it necessary to provide an alternative place, spacious and neat enough for trading of food items. <laughs> In an interview with a PMTV correspondent, the council chairman, Honorable Barista Victor Eboka, said council tax force, environmental team, and health officials are on ground to monitor compliance as social distance also apply to space trading. Traders were advised to strictly abide to the sanitation rules. Before you enter the market, you will ensure that your hands are properly washed and properly sanitized. So we have our health officials on ground to ensure that these precautionary measures are complied with. Specifically, they sell only food items. And we have several food markets in Bojiboji Metropolis, in a Kanotis local government area. The one in Bojiboji Metropolis is situated at uh, our modern secondary school. We also have one at Ogbe Primary School in Umunede that is designed to serve Umunede and the environs. We also have another one at Iruru Primary School at Owaliru and they are all functioning effectively. Some traders lauded the authority for the opportunity. Secondary school. Like a government people in Afia, on our swag boy, ne ya one we make a make a ne we book any. I made that two weeks we say can no more. So any abia wa tan, any buwe bu. Nde ya wa ano, kwe do la ano, kwe do la gua ibewe. We wa ba. Any legio ganesi unundi government unu make a make a. Adam Rima Mim Garage. Ya ke nazo. I will go and ask my government in this I be a bin for these two weeks. They see my fear bin, they make me a way. And in the way, go win and it's way in Pohazi and a tan I be a bin. A HM as a quo, a rain peace, and the best one I be in peace. They want an as a queen, tan a cabin on a bin. 
This evening, as I did pass, I see this small market there, so I enter to check in if what I want to stay. Okay, so nobody tell you say market day here. No, like now I come and fish when I see that they tell me eight hundred naira not get money. No, but everybody go fit afford them. Make them beg the marketers, make them reduce the cost of things so that people will not get go fit afford to buy those things. Make somebody there to control. The distance. If person buy, it, pass another place. Go. You not go pass the same way. Where they follow come, so that the person not go contact them. And if buy boy, call an old yak. You can call you can get my story. You can call it. So, but man, you have some money. And in the other case, you lele can yando. Lodi can you have marama or other man can you? Ne guchi we me. You no beta no biose. Bow le bow le nyo le le. Where do do can you call you? Ni we yeng these two weeks. Eni ge po heben. Onya ule ya po ha. Nay, Charlie Ham Moyakori, and here is my young one to do Yen and Yaka, Nihuri Kondo Samuel Wozo, on to be here when we are by him mafia, because I have not a wagafi, or ancient me booben and young Koyaki on it. Whether to where be here somewhere when we are dobering on Alien Ibu, and you want to allow the Konodo saying Lodi. The law has already been made by the the government that everybody should stay at home. If not, this place you just open now that they should come and buy something. So I don't think I will come out. In the past few days, the reported cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria is gradually on the increase. The Federal Ministry of Health thereby urged everyone to regularly wash their hands, maintain social distancing and practice respiratory hygiene as a precautionary measure to fight the coronavirus. Stay home and stay safe. Reporting from Agbo, Chinoinim Kennedy, PMTV News.